Institute. So today I was working at a, I guess what you could call an inner city school, and you know the class was a little loud. Everybody's kind of off task. You know I'm trying to create the most positive, enriching environment for my students so they can maximize their potential. And you know some are on task, some aren't doing anything. But uh, the noise is the noise is above like level three, and so. You know, being a licensed professional, I have to locate the root cause. And sometimes, even if the student's good, you remove the root cause to ensure the maximum potential on behalf of the mass of students. And so, uh, the root cause today happened to be the student named Logan. And, you know, he's having cross-classroom conversations. He's getting roasted by students. He's roasting other students. Um, you know, I've asked him to be quiet. asked him to... Um, focus a little more um, like let me see if I can help you uh, with your math and it's just it's just not processing and so it's like 15 minutes of me just being as nice as possible warning after warning after warning and I'm like all right man no harsh feelings you're a nice kid I respect you but I'm gonna have to call the office I think the office would be a better place for you to uh, to do your math uh, your math packet and uh so then I'm talking to the office. Yeah, he's not in any trouble, you know, a really nice kid, but I think just he would be he would do better in the office right now. And so I hang up and we're all sensing that any moment, you know, somebody's gonna come get him, you know, open the door, Logan, who leaves. Maybe get him like na 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 na, hey, goodbye. And um so then we're waiting and then he he, he screams he screams, I have ADHD Then I say Say it louder and he goes I have ADHD. Then I go, now say it with your chest. He goes, I have ADHD. And so I'm secretly laughing. Nobody else really knows what's going on. And then, you know, I'm telling the kid, like, yo, man, like, it's okay. You know, he goes, then he says, he says, I wish I was dead. I go, whoa, buddy, like, no, you don't wish that. No, life is a valuable thing. He goes, you know, everybody's always picking on me and that's when I started to think like you know I don't want the people from the office to come anymore and so this is where I'm like I get to do my job right now and so I look Logan straight in the eyes and I tell him like look man these people might be picking on you and I'll tell you this life ain't all rainbows and dandelions you know People, people will be mean to you for no reason. People will take advantage of you. Uh, people will just give you weird looks, just be rude. But you have to ask yourself how much you value that person's opinion. Because when you value someone else's opinion more than loving yourself, then that's where the issue is. And so I told him, you know, you keep being you. You know, you're a, you're a good kid. So don't let anybody anybody tear you down be mean to you you know because their perception only means something if it means something to you so then he gives me like this fist pump then we we lock eyes again and he says i wish you were my dad and then i just like 